Hello, and I'm back, uh, doing, uh, let's compare and contrast of, uh, turn-based strategy games, uh, Conflict. Uh, like I said before, last video, uh, I was going to explain more about how I'm comparing the, uh, combat system of this one to Advanced Wars, the main line, uh, not Daisy of Rome. Uh, basically, if... If you've been a uh, kind of a little bit of a casual player of the game, uh, the main thing of Advanced Wars uh, series, especially the uh, second one and uh, beyond there, like Dual Strike does a little bit of it, is they tried to narrow it down more to percents. Uh, I mean, they, they did have one character based on random rolls, but generally it was around a base percentage. Uh, while this one, it's completely random what you can do. Uh, like on this one, uh, you might not be able to hit a missile at all, and you fire all your missiles. Uh, there's times you could hit him on the first shot, there's times he could actually get lucky hit and strafe you a few times and kill you. Uh, everything's random bit here. I mean, it's logical and it's random. And, uh, kind of what I liked. Um, basically, if you've never, if you've never played Advanced Wars, uh, I would, gen I would push you more towards the second one, uh, to see what I'm talking about here, uh, and look at the CO stats. But, uh, basically, if you look at each commander, it'll give you a about a bar for each uh, of the commander's experience with that particular uh, vehicle or weapon. And uh, kind of gives you an idea of what percentage it is. And then, if you like, when you actually play the game itself, you'll do an attack and it'll give you the uh, point that, you know, give you like a 10 point something percent. Uh, each unit has 10 health. So, it'll say like, like, uh, 11%. That means that you'll take out one of their 10 for sure, and then you'll do like, maybe 0.1 damage to another part of the unit. Or you might do 0.3 or something. Uh, but it'll be, well, generally be around that area. Uh, the, the randomness is very, very low. Uh, as I said before, in Advanced Wars, there's only one commander that is based purely on luck rolls, and uh, everybody else is fine-tuned and defined. So, uh, and this one, like I said, is more based on your tactics and your a little bit of luck and maneuvering. The idea here is the fight, but it's not necessarily the fight, because then you, you don't want to you want to pick your battles very, very carefully. And even if you have an advantage in the fight, it doesn't you necessarily win. Uh, basically, if you've never seen a spoof of it, uh, there's a, there's a joke on a lot of forums and whatnot of a little infantry man shooting a mid tank. Or one of those, uh, uh, what do they call them, Neo tanks? Uh, and, uh, basically they just comment on the pure jokeness of basically the advanced war system of you have to be, you, I mean, you have to have just so finite in order to do, do anything. But more about the combat system in this one. Uh, basically, what look does is it position looks around, and tries, to, it gives you a higher chance of spotting where they are, giving you a more chance for an accurate shot on your next turn. Uh, then you have like movements like turn, uh, which is basically you, you turn your truck around like uh, like if you're a cheap attacking infantry. Turn around. Uh, like when you, when you go by, you might have actually like, drove past them, and you might need to turn around to get a good view on them. 
uh, basically, uh, like, then you have adjust, which is basically you adjust, you, you look around for them and you adjust yourself to where you have a bit more of a chance of hitting them for a finer shot. Uh, but you don't move as much. Uh, they got, like, smoke. Some of the tanks have. Or, you know, hide. Stuff like that. And that'll, uh, try to use the cover that what you have to uh, attack with. Anyway, this is kind of here what I'm talking about with the, uh, with the, just because you have an advantage doesn't mean you have an advantage. Uh, the SU-17 is the, uh, Red's version of a bomber, and, uh, he can blow you up in one hit, while he can eat one or two of yours. If you were playing an Advanced Wars game, any time that you have an AA gun or a surface-to-air missile unit, uh, basically it'd be like 110 or 125 instantly shown. Versus here, uh, the bomber actually has the advantage compared to the uh, SAM site. So, that's, that's another game comparison for you. Uh, I will be doing a gameplay of Advanced Wars 2 for my comparison. It lets you kind of compare the uh, combat system and the gameplay system to uh, kind of get, get, get to the guys a little vision of what's going on. As far as future compare and contrasts, um, I have been asked by uh, Mirror Jet. Uh, uh, he knows I've been kind of holding back on my Just Breed LP, uh, and I finally figured out a use for it. Uh, what he told me was that Just Breed was uh, actually uh, com supposedly created to compete with Fire Emblem if you can believe that. Uh, so that's what I'll be comparing it with. And instead of most of my other uh, games, I'll actually be doing a full LP of uh, just read because he asked me to. Uh, but I won't be doing a full LP of Fire Emblem. Uh, I'm quite sure that there's all sorts of tons of LPs for it, but it'll be an old versus old match. I'll let you guys decide on I can find ones that translated in English. If I don't, uh, well, that's gonna be fun and excitement. But I will try my best uh, to kind of give, show off the highlights of each game and to give each game justice that they deserve. Also, um, I'm also uh, perform on my other series. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing B-17 Bomber Moments. Uh, this will be for uh, another set of videos. Uh, I already have the first one uh, nearly done. Uh, this B B-17 Bomber Fortress in Sky. Uh, I have gotten to the point in Army Man yet, and I haven't uh, found the Atari version of it, so uh, when I get those, uh, I'll be doing updates and postings of those when I get them. But, uh, basically, like I said before, this, this series is more about uh, comparing particular game mechanics and seeing how they work and play out versus, versus each other. Seeing who has a better game mechanic. Uh, but this will be Kiki signing out for uh, Let's Play Conflict Part 2. Hey, uh, thank you.